How's it going, YouTube? I'm finally back again. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted, but I've been completely wrapped up in my own projects, um, kids, daily life. Just really haven't had the time to... Well, I've had the time. I just didn't want to sit and make videos. I'd rather spend time with my kids. But anyways, um, since, since I last posted, it's been brought to my attention that methods that I posted in the past about how to scrape Facebook business pages no longer work. So I just want to make an update video about that and also show you guys a way to scrape Instagram and also get the followers count along with their emails. So I'll keep this short and sweet and let's just get right into it. And I just want to promise you guys that I will be posting weekly videos. So hit that subscribe button and, you know, let's get to it. So the new operator that we're going to use is this site, facebook.com. What this does is it tells the search engine we're only looking for URLs that contain Facebook.com or that are from Facebook.com. In text colon real estate agent, this is telling the search engine when you find the domain, make sure that in the text of the page it says real estate agent. Now these dashes between each word, make sure that it searches for this exact string of characters. Like it doesn't just have real estate agent, but in three different paragraphs and it's nothing to do with real estate agents. The chances of that happening are pretty slim, but this is making sure that it only returns it if it says real estate agent all in a row. And the last part of it is in text additional contact info. Again, the same thing with the dashes, but this is ensuring that it's only going to return business pages and the about section of the business pages because every single business page on Facebook has additional contact info and within that section of the page is where the email is going to be. Okay, so we're going to take this, we're going to copy it, we're going to paste it into the harvester and because we're using this right here, in text real estate agent. Um, this right here is actually a category of the business page. So there's no need to put the keywords here, real estate agent because it's only going to return to business pages, the business page about us page of real estate agents. Um, you find the category of the type of business you want to market to uh, on Facebook, and then you enter it here. So now that that's it in there, we're going to click start harvesting. And before I do this, you're going to make sure that you're using proxies because this is a pretty advanced search operator. And if you uh, try to run that without proxies, it's going to air out. So you always want to run this using proxies. So we're going to start harvesting. Click start. And we'll wait for it to start harvesting. Here we go. 104 so far. All right, we have 304 URLs now. We're going to go back, close this out. And as you can see, we're down to 297. That's because I have auto remove duplicates enabled. Um, if you didn't have that enabled, you would remove your duplicates by here, clicking remove filter and remove duplicate URLs. Don't click remove duplicate domains because you're just gonna delete your whole list. Okay, so then you click, grab check, grab emails by crawling sites, and this is gonna pull this list into the portion of scrape box that scrapes the page for the emails. And I know you don't see it here. It's kind of a bug in the program that I've been experiencing, but rest assured the list is there and you'll see it when I click start. So we're gonna click start. There's my list, and you'll see that emails will start processing. We have nine so far, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll let this run through it, and you can see the progress right here. Okay, as you can see, it just finished, and it delivered us 276 emails. We'll open up the file here, and you can see. It delivered us all the emails, and here they are. Now we can use those to market to them. Okay, now onto the Instagram scrape that will pull the followers count along with it. This is a little bit of an advanced one, so I'll do my best to try to explain it as easily as I can. Um, we're gonna start with this search operator, and what, what this is doing, site colon Instagram.com is telling the search engine only deliver pages that have are from Instagram.com, and this little piece is telling it find pages that have gmail.com. Okay, so this is only searching for Gmail addresses. Keep that in mind. First part is we're going to throw this into Google. Paste that in. And here's your results. Uh, we'll click the first one. And we'll see right here. There it is. There's our beautiful Gmail address. 
Okay. Now, here's our followers count. All right, every page has that, obviously. And we want to be able to scrape the email and the followers count. So let's do that. I'm going to go to scrape box. I want to put this in. Um, if you had a specific keyword, you would put that here. I, I don't. I'm just going to do this really quick to show you guys. So I'll click start harvesting. Start. And let's see what we get. 393. We're going to go back. Close that. I have auto dupes enabled. If you didn't have that enabled, click remove filter. Do remove duplicate URLs. So we need this list. So we're going to export this list. We're going to save it. So export all URLs as text. I'm sorry, click export URL list. Export URLs as text. I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to save it as test one. Saved. Now open up a folder. There we are. Now we need to grab the emails. So we're going to come here, grab check, grab emails by crawling sites, and we're going to make sure this is checked. Use Harvester URLs and options, save URLs with emails. We want the email, I'm sorry, yeah, we want the URL saved along with it. And later on, you'll see why. So we'll click Start. As you can see, we just found 459 emails. Here's our file. I'm actually going to save this one, overwrite the one I did previously. Okay, we have this one now. We'll minimize that, get that out of here. All right, now to grab the follower account. And I was saying this is a little more advanced, so please make sure you follow along. Um, how we're going to set this up, we go to Grab Check, Custom Data Grabber, Create, Edit, Custom Data Grabber. Okay. Now that this is open, we're going to come back to Instagram. If you're in Chrome and on Windows, you press Control U. And this brings up the code of the page. Hit Control F on your keyboard for find so we can search the page. And we're going to search the word followers. You can see that the followers count is listed in two different spots. Whichever one, whichever location you want to grab it from, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's both going to pull the same thing. And I'll show you how to set this up right now. Okay, you go back to scrape box, and from this menu, uh, just give it a name. So we're going to call it Instagram emails. I'm sorry, follower account. Can't type. Name of the folder. This is where it's going to save. So IG follow. This is what it's going to tell you when it's done grabbing the emails. IG follow. This one is uh, when you're grabbing the, you're running the custom grabber, it says this at the top of the column. Um, text, uh, this is when it's finished. So let's call this IG. This is, this stuff really doesn't matter. Name it whatever you want. I mean, it's it uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to click save as a new module. And now we have our module, right? So we're going to highlight our module. And we're going to edit module masks. Okay, now this is where you really need to pay attention. So the name, we're just going to call it, again, is, this doesn't really matter. Name whatever you want. IG followers. All right, you don't really need to do that. It says it's optional. It should be set. You don't need to. This is the part that's really, 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 really critical. Okay, so what this means. Um, 
is we need the text that comes before the number we want and the text that comes after the number we want. So it tells you right here the format exactly is what it needs to be. So before underscore after equals. Now we need the text that comes before the follower count. And in this instance, this content equals. Actually, let's use this one. So OG description, all of this comes before it. We're going to copy that, go back to Scrapebox, paste it. And looking at this, we need the pipe. So hold down Shift, press backslash, and it gives us the street pipe. And now we need the text that comes after the number you want. So that's a space and followers with a comma. Copy that. Come into scrape box, paste it. The extracted data must contain. You don't need to mess with these. They're all optional. Now we're going to save this as a new mask. We're going to close this out. We're going to close this. And now, from our list, I'm going to click Grab Check, Custom Data Grabber, Instagram Follower Account brings up our list. From this screen, make sure save URLs with extracted data is selected and click start. And as you can see, it's pulling all the followers counts. The ones where it says zero, that's most likely a page where it's the email is found inside of a comment. So there's that a follower count doesn't exist on that page. As you can see, it finished pretty quickly. So we're just going to do Click Save Data Folder. Here it is right here. We have the URL of the page and we have the followers count. We want to copy all of this and paste it into Excel. So we open Excel. Please ignore that. Blink, open a blank worksheet, paste your data into column A. While it's selected, you want to sort it A to Z. And while we still have it selected, we need all of the data in separate columns because right now it's all in column A. So we're going to go to data, text to columns, delimited, click next. As you can see, the data is separated by these pipes. So we'll click other, put a pipe there, and you can see that now it's separating the data. Click next and click finish. And now, if I can learn how to use a mouse, you can see that we have two columns of the same data. So let's delete one of them, because we don't need two. So now we have an email, we have a follower account. Now we need to go over, we need to grab the emails that we grabbed earlier and saved earlier. So copy this data. I'm going to copy our data, paste it in. And for the sake of what we're doing, Actually, first things first, let's sort this. Select our data. I'm going to sort this by the URL, A to Z. Okay. Now we need this to be in the column next to it. So we'll cut it from there, paste it here. All right, now with the, this is where things get a little interesting. We want to search if this URL is in this column with the follower count. And the way we're going to do this is an Excel formula. Shoot. All right, we're going to use the VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP function, excuse me. And let's get this going. So we're going to expand this out, show you how to use it. So we're going to use equals VLOOKUP. Then this first part of it, we need the first cell of our email list. So we're going to delete that and click E1. Now we need to tell it, oops. 
now we need to tell it what table to search. So we're going to delete this. And we're going to select all of our data. Just click enter, lock that in real quick. Now once we have this, we need to lock it on the number side. So we put a dollar sign in front of the number. And the rest of this formula is comma two, comma zero. All right, click enter. And you can see that it saw this URL on this list. So it returned the value of followers right here. Let's push this down, double click on that. And you can see now it's returned me the followers count for all of the URLs that I've listed. And just an example, so you can see that it did do that, is this one right here. I'm not even sure what that says, but it ends in prints right here, 203,000 followers. It found three different, or three different emails on this guy's profile, and it still kept the same follower count for each one. Now what we want to do to finish this up, is select all, or you can actually delete all of this. Let's do this first. Copy your column and make sure that you paste this as a value because if you don't do this, when you delete this data, it's going to return a blank. So we delete these tables. I'm sorry, these cells. Now, as a last step, select all your data, filter by column C, the follower count. And any time there was an NA, which there was no follower count for this page, because it probably pulled it from a comments page, we want to get rid of that. So we'll sort it, scroll to the very end, and delete all of these that didn't have followers count. If you're not interested in the followers count, you still have a bunch of emails you can utilize. If you are interested, get rid of them. So now we have 350 records of profiles with the email with follower count. And now you're free to see what emails to target. And you know these are which ones are the accounts that are actually worth your time. And I hope this email what or this email. <laughs> I hope this tutorial wasn't too bouncy, wasn't too jittery. You know, it's been away from this for a while. But I hope you guys have success with this method. And, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you.